Okay, here we are in the front parkway between the parkway sidewalk and the curb. And this is our water meter. It's an analog water meter right here. This is our flow indicator. Cheater wheel. What some people call it. Alright. But call it what you will. That's it. And it's not moving. It has not moving. It has not moved. So for the purpose of this inspection, we passed a freshwater leak test. Alright. Now this valve, see the way the arrow is pointing towards the house? That means that it's on. That valve doesn't belong to you. Okay, that valve belongs to the city, the municipality, the water company, um, the vendor. Call it what you will, but that's not your valve. Now you might need to know where that is. If you turn it perpendicular so these little holes line up, you can put a lock in there if you don't pay your water bill, and it lines up, well then that's how you turn the water off. In an emergency, you might have to come turn off somebody else's valve to your house but somebody else's valve i cannot find a main water shutoff valve if i find one then i have a big old speech for no good reason that happens Actually, let's not lose this so that's the water coming to the house now originally usually typically what I like to do, what I like to do, okay, but is I would like want to check the water pressure here at the closest bib faucet to the house. But this hose is squirreled on to the connector in such a fashion that it does not thread and unthread easy, easily, which leads me to believe that the threads are probably messed up. I used two pretty good sized wrenches on that. If Grampy can't do it, it can't be done. Now, we are getting a leak at the valve right here. And obviously it does work. But that's not how we test our water pressure. So let's go to the second closest exterior bib faucet to the meter. And what we're looking for is no more than 80 PSI. So if we're over here on the west side of the house, that's the second meter. This is a drain for your laundry. I'm pretty sure the laundry is going to be upstairs because of that drain. This is for your clothes washer. That's a good thing. That's your clothes washer draft hood. But you don't have one. It's been tore off. So you're supposed to have a damper, a little trap door, and a hood. None of that's there. You're supposed to have all that. But we're talking about the water pressure. No more than 80 PSI. We got another leak. How about that? Got another leak at the stem. And we got 100 PSI. Now the good news is, on our water heaters, we have an expansion tank. If you have over 80 PSI, you should have an expansion tank. Now the bad news is, that's good for your water heaters, but the rest of the house, the rest of the house, you still got 100 PSI coming into the house. Still got 100 PSI, it's still over 80. It's going to be hard on all your sinks and your faucets and all these things. Like these are leaking right here. It's because they're pushing too much pressure. The other one on the front is leaking because it's pushing too much pressure. This one's leaking because it's pushing too much pressure. You got 100 PSI coming in the house. 80. 80 is max. But we're not through. We're not through. So we'll come along here. That's the only way I know to turn off the water, and that's the meter over there that passed. We've got 100 PSI, this faucet, I can't get into it. All right, so let's just move to drainage here for a moment. And hope I find a main water shutoff valve while I'm talking about the drainage. It happens sometimes. So we're just going to squirt our way through here. <laughs> Grace. We've got a double clean out. That's a sewer clean out. That's where your sewer clean out is on the east side of the front portico. All right. And that's, that's everything for now.